You have a kiss mark on your cheek. Oh no. Just keep it there, it's cute. Oh, we're running out of time. Oh shoot. Welcome to our channel this week. We prepared a little game that I thought of randomly called Why Do You Own This? And uh, I feel like we both have a lot of items that we own or that we've acquired over time that just don't make sense uh, to one another or maybe ourselves. So we decided to go around the house behind each other's backs and just have free reign over everything and go in the drawers, go in the closets, uh, go everywhere and just search for items that just make you go, why? Why, why the <laughs> heck do we have this? Yeah, it was pretty interesting going through your stuff. I found a couple of real weird things that I'm gonna share. Oh my that gosh. I don't even know if you remember that you have. I probably won't, and and honestly, I felt kind of weird doing it. Like, I feel like I'm not supposed to be looking in this drawer. Like, what the heck am I doing? So it's it's definitely weird when you do that. I mean, you can look through any of my stuff. I don't care. No, I know, and and me too. But like, I'm just not used to going in uh, my space in, in in the lady drawer. So that was that was new. For <laughs> Wait, me. you went through my lady drawer? Well, I was looking for interesting things. <laughs> we made these little bags. Let's take out the bags but don't open it yet. Inside these bags are these wacky items that each other owns and we're gonna see what the heck they are. We have no idea what's in there, so uh, this should be interesting. You ready? Who gets to go first? I will go first. Ooh, okay. The first item <laughs> is this. An, oh. in, an, in, an intense body blast Pilates training and it's still in the wrapper. <laughs> She never even opened it. I it's actually like, need this, thank you. It's like a workout DVD that she never opened. This so, is awesome. So, she, this is like Christmas for her. She's just now seeing it and loves it. So what, what the heck is the story behind it's, this? Well, it's an intense Body Blast 3 DVD Pilates set and I actually got this in like a goodie bag. And I always thought it was so cool, but I never used it, so. So she's gonna actually use this now. We don't have a DVD player. Now, Lexi goes to the gym like every day. She's always uh, doing spinning. So well, I was very curious why you have, have- It's wrapped because we don't have a DVD player. Well, like we <laughs> literally don't even have a disc drive. I know, no one has DVD players anymore. It's all streaming so, or, or files. So I, I, can, mean, I can understand that one. Could do you do well. this pose? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Lexi's turn, here we go. My turn. What do you, what do you got for me? Ooh, I'm gonna deal on in here. I'm kind of scared because I, I, I'll admit, like I have a bunch of weird stuff. Like I, I have, save the best for last. I have random sure. weird stuff, so I don't know what, what, what this is gonna be, what it could be, honestly. Okay, I'll start with this. Okay. Oh yeah! <laughs> Wait a second, I remember this. Oh, this was my, this was my foot uh, cast. Why do you still I, have it? This uh, thing is dirty and old. Does it smell still or no? No. It doesn't smell. The smell went away. It used to smell? That is uh, oh, it used to smell horrible. Uh, no, no, I, I had to wear this uh, when uh, I broke my foot. Remember when I when I twisted it in Frisbee? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was from Frisbee. Don't laugh But why at me. did you keep it? I'm gonna put it on right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm barefoot, guys. We, we do our videos barefoot. <laughs> Look, it still fits. Good job. So Good job. I, I, I don't really know the reason I have this, but can I tell you something? When I was a kid, you know, I mean, you know, I broke a lot of bones growing up, and I would keep every <laughs> every nasty cast. I would keep that them all. Disgusting. I had like ten of them, and I had them in the same Don't they drawer. like stink so gross? When <laughs> They're the worst. Pick. They're the absolute worst. And you worst. kept it. I kept them all. I think I had a I had a cast drawer. <laughs> Because it was like they were like trophies of like injuries. So like how many I, bones have you broken? Like eleven. I went through one of Lexi's drawers, and I found this. Oh. Uh, everything that Ooh. I that I pick out. Oh, is, I know why I have this. Why? <laughs> okay. So, do you know how sometimes sheets get those little balls on it? <laughs> Okay, you sheets, mean like, yeah, like, they get a little rough. Like cotton balls. Like little, yeah, yeah. little things. It's called like pilling. Okay. And when that happens, you're supposed to shave those off. And so you take a shaver and you shave it off and it makes it smooth again. So I did this not is know why that. 
I think I used this for my legs and then used it for that because there's hair and yeah, cotton. Yeah, I was like, what? first of all, why is a shaver in deep in a drawer? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's why. Okay, that was a good explanation. I'll yeah. buy it. I'll buy it. All right, are you ready? <laughs> I guess. Here we go. What's the next thing? I kind of know why you have this, but I just think it's kind of still weird that you have it. <laughs> oh, purple bear. This is not weird. This is my homie. This is my... Cody has many <laughs> sentimental value this, items. This guy is very sentimental to me. Me and my siblings all have a bear. And this was Purple Bear. I mean, his name is so original. <laughs> like, come on, Purple, purple Bear. Bear. Because <laughs> he's purple and he's a little bear. How oh. old were you when you got Purple Bear? I was very young. I was like in probably in like third grade or something. I've had him for a while. He's That's like, a little old, actually. I was figuring you were gonna say five or <laughs> no. Well, maybe six. I don't know. Maybe I was young. Third no. grade? Yeah, I think I was in like third grade when I got him. Look, don't make fun of me. Look how cute he it's is. It's sweet. I'm not making fun of you. I know purple wear is special. He has a lot you. of sentimental value He's to me. He's very cute. This we is a good one. You should this... shave him. Yeah, yeah. Let's shave off he the. He has uh... some. So, so Lexi's gonna demonstrate what the shaver was for in her drawer. Okay. Shaving you see the all sheets. this like fuzz and lint. You probably can't see it. Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. Oh wow. See before after. You wow. See? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay. Sweet. Well, that was a good item. I like that. Thank item. you. Lexi, why do you still have this? <laughs> the ancient, the, the years and years old iPhone. But look at the case. I think I kept it for the case. That's so cute. There's so, actually probably, it feels weird holding this, to be honest. Yeah, because we're used to the new so, phones. Yeah, it's so tiny. I should get rid of it. What do you do with an old iPhone? Well, that thing was probably worth some money probably a year and a half, two years ago. We could have sold that for like a hundred bucks. Sorry. And it's just in the drawer and she wanted to keep it for the case. <laughs> Why do you have <laughs> this in your drawer? Okay, that is not mine, okay? This is Marcus's, and let me explain why. Oh yeah! Marcus got a new game for this DS, right? This is a Nintendo 3DS, right? And Marcus got a new game. Super Smash Bros. Yeah, he got Super Smash Bros for the DS. And he calls me up one day, and he comes over and he goes, hey man, like, I really need you to have this because I've been playing it so much and I'm becoming addicted to it, and I'm not accomplishing anything. He had to have Cody he, confiscate he this had, he, had to, he had to give this to me because he was playing it too much. <laughs> that is that's, so that's, funny. That's a good story with that. That's great. But no, right. I, I don't really play games, so I mean, I don't really have any use for that, but let's play it. Let's, let's, let's turn it on and, and play Super Smash Brothers. Right now, I'm about to pull out the next item, and that is a golden rock <laughs> with the word believe on it. <laughs> oh, wait, I need to say something. I found this in your drawer, first of all. I know, I was just screwing with you. This is Cody, this not is mine. mine. This so, is mine. So why do you have this? I don't know. I think your mom got it I think my mom, I think my mom may have given it to me. But why is, is it a golden, like what's special about it? I don't know, I mean it just says believe, it's very inspiring, you know, a golden Jesus rock. Because Jesus is our rock, and That's we right. believe. That's right. I like that. That's that's the new analogy. Believe. But where do you put it? I don't know. And that's the thing with. I mean, and Are I hate. Good? I hate to call this thing like a piece of junk or a trinket. That's a nicer word. That's a nicer okay, word. Okay, I said trinkets before. You said piece of junk, and no. you could have used that word. I know. I know. So it's not a piece. It's oh, well, it's a piece. But like. Where do you, like, you can't even set this facing up to see what it says, like, on a desk. Like, it's got to lay flat. So you got to be over top of it when you look at it. And but, it's kind of off-centered. Like, yeah. the lettering, look, it's off-centered a little bit. It's still cool, though, and, and very thoughtful. And it's, yes. a, it's a reminder, you know, to always believe. believe. Close your eyes. What is this? <laughs> Why do you have this? Oh shoot, these right here are boxers. With roosters with, with all over roosters them. roosters all over them. And they're far too small for you, by the way. Well listen, here's the deal. Everyone knows that I like chickens, 
and I think chickens are awesome. So I always get gifts that are chicken related, whether that's like, I don't know. Chicken boxers? Ch chicken boxers, uh, I don't know. Chicken merchandise. <laughs> chicken merchandise? <laughs> that's what this is, I mean it's, I think, I think it was a gift given to me because of my love for chickens and yeah, I own a pair of boxers with chickens on them. Hey. Wow, I, I, where the heck were those? Because I don't. In the depths. <laughs> I want to wear them. Like, let's put them in the wash, and I'll and I'll wear them. Put them in the rotation. I don't know that we'll use this for the video. Okay. But I just wanted to freak you out with these, all right? No, what is it? Why do you have, or why do we have, <laughs> these freaky dice? <laughs> they're love dice. They're love dice, and they're rated like. They're not they're rated like PG thirteen. Yeah, they're like rated PG thirteen like, dice. Ready? Let's hug on the couch. <laughs> you re roll the. <laughs> we <laughs> hug on like the couch. They're like sexy Valentine's Day dice. Okay, ready? So you roll these dice. Ooh. And on each dice, it says something cute. <laughs> This has, got, this has got to end. When you're married, you can roll the dice, okay? It's okay to roll the... All right, let's, uh, uh, I'm not gonna show that. Yeah. Where did you find these? You've been keeping these somewhere. All right, look, they were in my drawer, but I thought it'd be funny to bring them out. All right, guys, we hope that you uh, got a kick out of some of our uh, weird items that we own. And that was fun because we didn't know what each other was gonna pick. And it kind of brought some sentimental value to, to certain things. That was really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, we're gonna be posting every single week. Thank you so much for following along. Social media descriptions in the bottom. Thank you so much. We love you guys. We'll we see you love next time. you.